Okay, so um, for this to work, the best thing to do is to go out into a area that has trees, if you can, and just take some uh, photos like these of some branches with leaves on them. And we're going to bring this into Blender and we're going to cut out all around, um, all around the leaves and take out the backgrounds. I guess you could do this in Photoshop or any other thing that can remove the background of something. But uh, for today's video, I am just going to do it in Blender. So I'm going to go to Import, Images as Planes. That's an add-on you can turn on if you don't have it on already. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this image in here. I'm going to go to the side view, tab into uh, edit mode. And I'm going to take the knife tool. And I'm just going to start at one end and just start tracing out around what we want. And once I get all that uh, cut, I will just select the background and remove it. So once I have it cut out and looking like this, I am going to uh, add in a camera and position it dead on center like this. So we're looking at a very just straight on view. Now this is, uh, this is a little too close. So I'm going to just drag this camera back away so that this fits within. I want this stem to be kind of directly in the middle of one side here like this. And I'm going to go to the uh, scene render properties here and go down to film and check transparent. Then I'm going to press render. And now we have um, this nice PNG image here that does not have a background. Then you'll want to just save this out to a uh, file where you can find it later because we're going to re-import this back into Blender as its own thing. All right, in a new scene of Blender, I'm going to just delete out the basic cube here. And I am going to then just go import images as planes and I'm going to add in the final um, finished leaf with no backgrounds. So I have it here. I'm going to import it. Uh, if we go to rendered view, we can see here what it looks like. I'm going to tab into edit mode and rotate it RY90. So it's uh, along the flat and along like this. I'm going to then go and add in some edge loops. So the reason why I wanted this stem to be kind of in the middle is because we're going to bend this over itself. Like we're going to take these edges and pull them down to give it some 3D depth. And it looks way better, obviously, if this line is in the middle. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix that very quickly. I'm going to take this here, double click G to slide this and just put it so it's a bit more in the center. I'm going to add in a few more edge loops and then a few this direction too. I'm going to select these edges, let's bring them very far down, select these, bring them a little less far, something like that. Select this down here, pull this down, select this, kind of similar treatment. This one can be the highest and this one can be a nice midpoint, like that. It's looking a little jagged, so I'm going to do Auto Shade Smooth. And um, I'm going to take this middle piece here and just bevel that out just to give it a little bit extra to work with. Same with these. Just so it's low poly, but will still look nice. You can see there's some alpha clip issues happening here. We can go in and try and fix those very fast. So if we go to the uh, material properties here and go down. We have show back face and I'm just gonna turn that off. So let's actually put this on something. So I'm going to just add in a cube. I'm going to scale it down. Uh, I'm going to just delete the bottom because we're never gonna see that anyways. And just select the whole thing, S shift Z to scale it all in evenly. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to just uh, hold down control and right click to extrude this out, I'm just going to make a little stem for our uh, branches to be coming off of. One thing that's really going to help is if we take uh, this edge here, I'm going to Shift S, uh, cursor to selected, and then set origin to 3D cursor. I'm going to delete this one quickly. So now, um, now we can drag this around and it will go from where the cursor is. So it'll be a little easier to line up with things. So I'm going to Alt-D to duplicate this, drag it down, turn it around, scale a bit. I'm going to select both of these, Alt-D, turn them like this, 
Uh, change the scale a little bit on these. So kind of a little sparse on the bottom. So I'm going to move these here and add in another one like that. And then you can also go in and change the direction of these two because you don't want them all to be too much the same. I'm going to select all these, select the uh, stem, control J to join them. So now we have a little, uh, just a little tree model here. And now we can take this and uh, duplicate it around and change the scale. And now you have a little tree asset that you can throw in the things. It's kind of low poly and it's a little janky, but um, when you have a bunch of them and a bunch of different variety and they're all kind of swaying around in the wind, it looks really good and it works really well. Anyways, hope this was helpful. See ya.